Hello friendos and welcome to a video tutorial on how to fix uh, something that I found in the Elgato software is a, a bit of a glitch where I was doing a game capture. The capture in the Elgato software was working, but when I exported it after I, I segmented the video to, to how I wanted it, after I exported the video onto where I had them saved, something weird happened. The video itself was half the size, like half the, the actual duration. And upon opening it up, I found that the gameplay footage of the game that I was playing was sped up twice as fast. But the audio, the game audio and the live commentary that, that I was capturing were the regular speed. Now, not only that, the video corrupted halfway through and it got to a point where it just wouldn't play the video anymore. Um, even though the game that I was playing, there's still more gameplay footage, and it essentially cut that portion in half. So I only had half of the actual sped up footage and half of the uh, live commentary portion because it only, on a 22 minute video, it only recorded, uh, or the, the final duration was 11 minutes. So I'm gonna go into that I'm gonna outline some of the problems and one of the fixes that I found to sort of salvage the video from its semi-corrupted status because I could still get into it. So it wasn't completely corrupted, like the, the file itself wasn't corrupt, but the formatting was a little bit wonky. So I'll let you know how to fix that in this hopefully short video tutorial. I'm, I'm gonna try and cut it down to as, as few minutes as possible. So let's get right into it. All right, so getting right into it here, we'll go to the video in question that we had problems with, which was enter the gungeon number 10, episode number 10 right here. It uh, it wasn't really wanting to work for us. Uh, we select it. Nothing seems wrong with the video in here. Like we've, we've already cut it down to what we wanted. Uh, it says it's 21 minutes long, 21.44, exactly. Um, that'll, that'll matter in a little bit here. But uh, as you can tell, it gets to the very end, very end of the video, I'll do my outro. Oh my god. <sighs> was that second floor? Ooh, that wasn't a good run, but. So that's me doing my outro there. Uh, it gets to the point where, like you, you see at the beginning, we'll load one of these rooms. Okay, gotta be. You can, you can notice he's, bit, he's shooting yeah. his gun. Uh, you hear me teacher. talking in the live commentary. He's shooting his gun, he's reloading. Ooh, wow. Everything is syncing up. So uh, the video, the audio, audio the in shot. the game, and the, the live commentary the shot off is is lining up um, how how we want it to. So in the Elgato software, there there isn't really an issue. But once we take this, if, if we were to make, you know, like a cut and delete that out or whatever, and we take it and export it, drag and drop, export, you know, to uh, one side note, to export, I know you can like hit this little button down there or do whatever. I like the physical action of dragging and dropping. So we'll export this out. I've already exported this out. We'll wait for the videos to process. Okay, so our video is done processing. Uh, once it's done processing, we have it exporting to uh, just the videos section on the PC. This is the, the PC I use for gaming. So just the standard videoing. It's right here. So this is the game commentary or not the game commentary, this is the uh, the game audio. As you can tell, it's uh, it's 11 minutes long, but it's sped up twice as fast. So you see me doing some of my prelim stuff, it's going twice as fast. You can tell that the game audio and the, the video itself isn't lining up. So you can see that um, I'm shooting, but you can you can hear gunshots right now. It, it's, it's not lining up, it's, it's really bad. Um, didn't really know what to do to salvage it, but then I thought to myself, oh, you know, I can, I can just speed up the, or not speed up, slow down the video itself because the video seems to be twice as long. The, the total duration is 11 minutes, eight seconds. So maybe I can take it into something like Premiere Pro, uh, take the, the video portion and slow it down Half, like by by fifty percent, and then put the uh, the live commentary. The live commentary is uh, hello, friendos, and welcome to another. Enter is just me talking. Is... I've, you know that that dummy on there. Um, is just me talking. It's at regular speed. The game audio is at a regular speed, but the game video is sped up twice as much. 
So I thought, oh, you know, I can I can salvage it, but really it's it's unsalvageable because the game audio is uh, is a regular speed, but the game video is actually sped up twice as much. Uh, another part of the video that that I mentioned before is halfway through this video, the the video itself, the game capture freezes, uh, and I think that's around here. We're fighting Mr. Gatling Gull. The, uh, the buff seagull, as it were. We'll do it. I think we get to the point where we, we fight him. Um, I think it gets up to this point where after we're done, uh, you can tell the game audio, it's not synced up. It's still going twice as fast. Ah, and it gets to about this point right here where the video freezes. You can still hear the game audio in the background, but the video freezes. And after that, none of this is usable. Um, you know, it gets to this point, you could skip ahead, it just freezes. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to load it, but the game audio actually loads. You get to here, and that's just the end of the video. So it's not that you can use the game audio at all because it's cut in half. You can't use the game video because it's cut in half from cut in half. And the live commentary oh, friend, is, like oh my God, stop doing that. Let's open with VLC media player, non-sponsored video. Hello, friend, and welcome to another Enter the Gungeon with Celtic Gaming. I am taking off my watch because it's going to be clicking. I am taking off my watch, Celtic Gaming. But it's follow my mouse down in the bottom right corner. 11 minutes, 8 seconds. We only get to partway through the video. So, from here, where I'm still recording, I'm still, you know, only halfway through the run, but... The live commentary is only finished up to 11 minutes, whereas the, the previous video is 21 or 22 minutes. Now, herein lies the problem that we now have a video that's unsalvageable, but after doing a little bit of research, I found a way that we can salvage that video, and that's through the cache that's created when we open up the, the Elgato game capture software. So one thing about the Elgato is when you open, when you open the game capture software, it starts recording. So everything on this screen, it starts recording from the moment you open the software. It doesn't matter if you hit the record or the commentary button, it starts recording in a cache. From the point where you hit the commentary button and the record button, it creates a marker in that recording. And when you hit the commentary and the record button again, it creates a second marker. And in between two markers there, that's where your video processes. That's where it's captured what you want to capture. It processes that and it saves that in a, a designated file here. But we can go back into the cache where it saves on the computer. And uh, in this case, it's in our video file under EGC library, which is the default, um, which is the default file that the Elgato software uses. It, it creates it upon installing. And you can see here that we have a lot of our other recordings. So we have some of our Binding of Isaac. It goes back to episode 20, 21. It doesn't go all the way back to one. So I'm thinking that it automatically purges some of the videos. Uh, if you saw before, I, I scrolled my mouse over it. This file right here is 503 gigabytes. Um, I didn't even know it existed until I did some of this research. So I'm gonna be going through purging some of this, but you can see up here that we have a file for Enter the Gungeon, Enter the Gungeon number 10. And this is the problem child. This is the video that we had problems with where it was okay in the Elgato software. It was showing at 21 minutes, 44 seconds. But when we tried opening it, it was only playing at 11 minutes, 8 seconds. So it was in its semi-corrupted uh, semi -corrupted status. But with this cache here, you can see some of the, you know, the clips, export info, overlay timelines. These are all of the files necessary to be able to play this video in the, the game capture. So this is made up of all of these. So you see that the little snapshot here is actually the little thumbnail down here. But this is the file right here that we're interested in. As you can see, TS file, it's 1.9 gigs. Whereas if we went back into our other video, you see this one that we, we exported. Um, this actually, this, this is the original file. It's only one gig. So it's, it's exactly half the size, 11 minutes, 23 seconds. It's exactly half the duration. It's half the video. Whereas this one, we came back in, it's 1.9. All right. Open it up. Oh, can't play. Can't perform this operation. Please try again later. Well, don't, don't try again later. Just find 
a software, our VLC media player, non-sponsored, by the way, um, just find a media player that can uh, that can play this this TS file format. Uh, VLC is is one of those. So as you'll see, once it finishes uh, buffering, we won't know until we get there, here's our video, and everything Sorry. is lining up. There's our Gatling golf fight, and you can see go. that. The video, I'll have to, you know what, let's, let's use another one where I'm not swearing. Um, there we go. You can see that his gun is, is shooting, our gun is shooting, the video, the game audio, and the live commentary is, uh, is lining up with, with what he's doing. Now, if we skip ahead a little bit further into the fight, we can see that it's this point with the treasure chest... Hang on here, we'll just go ahead a little uh, bit further. And I'm thinking. Just uh, wait for also, it. Also, from here, blank once. We'll see, oh, we'll open fun. up the treasure chest. <laughs> and this is the point where it would freeze before. Uh, but we can see that the video is still here. going. And we can notice down here that the total duration of the video itself is 22 minutes, 2 seconds. That's the total video itself, right? I mean, we, we cut it down a little bit. The times were a little bit off, but this is the full video. Um, now we can take this and we can upload it to, to YouTube or we can cut it down from here. Unfortunately, we can't cut it down in the Elgato software because we found that after cutting it down to our you know 21 minutes, 44 seconds, we tried exporting it. That's what got cut in half. So we'll take a program like uh, Premiere Pro. This is what I use to, to edit my videos. We can take this and we can drag and drop it, import media. Oh no, the file is an unsupported compression type. Well, we notice here when we scroll our mouse over it, the item type TS file, it's got a TS file extension to it, which is a format that I'd never seen before, before doing some of this research. So found a tool online that helps us convert the TS file extension into something that's, that's readable by Adobe Premiere Pro like an MPEG-4 uh, file format. And that's a program by the name of WinFF that I found. Cortana, let's find WinFF, which is, oh, you know what? Hang on, WinFF. There's the uh, there's a little icon for it. I have a, a desktop app on it. We open it up. Here's our conversion software. So kind of like any other conversion software, if, if you've ever converted other videos to, you know, from, from um, an MP or uh, MPEG-4 to like a, something to fit on your iPod or some of the different formats. It's just a, a different format to format conversion software. So we go in, we click add, we're in our EGC library, enter the Gungeon number 10, our problem child. We take the video format. It's going to give us an output folder of Council Gaming user documents. It's just a... Uh, I think that's right here. It's just in here. So you can do it in any um, any file, really. It's just this is what it's defaulted to. So let's do it. Here's your MPEG-4. Here's all your other formats. So let's say MPEG-4. Let's select a preset of MPEG-4 720p. Now, this didn't work for me when I converted it. It just said pass duration too large, pass duration too large. And it gave me this timeout error. And it's, it's trying it over and over and over and over again. Um, I think why that happens is because the file is too large and I think it would take way too long to convert it to 720p or something else is wrong. So I wasn't able to salvage the quality on the video itself, but if we convert it to an MP4 widescreen in the MPEG-4 format, we hit convert and it'll actually start converting the file for us. So we see here that the file itself, on it's, it's taking every single frame and it's converting each frame into... Uh, that MPEG-4 format that, that we wanted. Um, all of this, you know, you can, you can select in here all the video, the audio, uh, you can actually crop it. Um, you, can, you can cut out some of, the, uh, some of the video itself. So if I knew the exact times, like 13 seconds in, I wanna make a cut and uh, 15 seconds to the end of the video. So at 21 minutes, 44 seconds, I wanna cut out. It'll cut that out for us, it'll convert it. You can actually see here that it's making a conversion and you can see the time duration of the video in relation to the frames that it's converting. So we'll wait for this to finish converting and then I'll show you the final product. 
All right, so we're getting pretty close to the end. Oh, and it's the end. All right, so when the video finishes, it, it, you get a screen that looks like this. This is the, the whole video converting itself into that MP or M, MPEG for MPG for format. You get a screen that looks like this. This is just all the formatting, the frames, blah, blah, blah. Not important. I don't even know what that stuff means. It's not important. Uh, what is important is if we go back to the folder where we exported that in, you see here that we have a recording. And if we go back to this previous, that's a recording right there. 106, go forward. Here's the 106 or 1006. The only problem with that is if you look at the properties, you'll see that in the details, here's a little bit of the sacrifices. The frame height, 384 by 704. So we sacrificed some of the quality. This is only 360, whereas the other version, if we go into some of our other videos that, that we've recorded, let's say episode 13. 13 was a really good one. We go properties, we go detail. It's in 720. So our frame height is 720 by 128. This one, by comparison, if we go side by side, you notice the one that we just converted, we sacrificed some because we couldn't convert into that 720. We'd only convert to the, the widescreen format, which, I mean, it's not high def, but we're playing an indie game. It looks like SNES graphics. Uh, it sacrificed from 60 frames a second, like a full 60, to 29 frames or 30 frames a second. The audio is, isn't as good. But if we go into the video itself, you'll notice that now, say it out loud, we have something that lines up. So we can go back to our uh, Gatling Gulf fight. We can go here. Oh, where's that, that uh, stupid treasure chest that gave us so many problems? You can see this. Oh, oh that's me almost oh. dropping a massive F-bomb. But you can see us firing our gun. It's all lined up. It's good to go. We can take that. Go into Premiere Pro, say, oh, oh, okay, yeah. But now we have importable media. So we'll take this, look at it, say, oh, okay, frame rate's not that good. Bring it in, we'll go to edit it. And yeah, that's our uh, finished, uh, finished project. We can take this, go here, say, oh, okay, this is where we do our intro, do our cuts there. Um, and that's it. That's how I fix the problem, again, we sacrificed some of the quality in order to, to salvage the video, but the main point of it is we were able to salvage the video. So in, in review of, of the main problem, what we had was we exported it from the Elgato. The video itself sped up twice as much, but the video audio or the, the game audio and the live commentary were normal. It was a game video that sped up twice as much and the file halfway through got corrupted. So. We couldn't even go through and, and you know speed up some of the footage. It was just, it was completely unusable. Uh, half of our live commentary was cut off, so we didn't even have that. We couldn't even overlay that on if we wanted to. And this is the one fix that I found. I'll put a link below to uh, uh, WinFF, the, uh, the website here. It's just winff.org. I'll put a link to it below that you can click on. It'll take you there right away. Just hit download. You'll see it up here, set it up. It's super easy to use. Uh, you see it's it's got a couple of different languages here um, But yeah, all you have to do is click the add button Pick the the format you want and go from there and that's that's how I fixed it. So anyways uh, If you made it through to the end of the, the video, thanks for watching Hopefully that helped you out as much as it helped me out I'll be able to put this up on on YouTube and upload it if you like the video give the video a like press the subscribe I, I don't do video tutorials very often. I do want to do them a little bit uh, a little bit more frequently like you know how i have my setup with my my webcam or my snowball my sketchy ass piece of wood that's taped to my to my desk here with a snowball taped onto it my lamp with a piece of paper kind of taped on top of that to sort of dull the the light uh, just some of those other vid video tutorial stuff that i'd like to put on so subscribe to the channel you'll see a bunch of gameplay on there but Maybe I'll, I'll be able to do a, a couple more video tutorials. Thanks for joining us on today's video tutorial, guys. Uh, like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys the next time we play a game, do a video tutorial. Man, my outro is really screwed up because I don't do these very often. But regardless, thanks for joining us. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. And we'll see you guys the next time. Thanks. Bye.